Okay, here we go. Got everything going. Blue ring route. Get lots of money. Get blue ring for 50% damage. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't know anything about the Z1 items. If we die again, we're gonna like boot up the practice hack and actually practice ball and chains. Can you skip the mid tier sword for like the the top sword? Does it work like that? It does, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't know that it had, like, uh, heart requirements. That's interesting. Because that's... I get, like, I guess that makes sense. Because um, it's like a proxy for how many bosses you've beaten. sense. consider doing a casual playthrough of Z1 at some point and just like letting people that show up batch seek the shit out of me. I have I have no intention of like making my own maps or anything. It's been it's been too many years for that. Go fast and don't get hit. Yeah. Yeah, batch seating will be like I've decided that like for any uh, any NES games that I do, I'm just trying to, like, allow full batch seating, basically. There's, like, no reason not to. You can just think of it as, like, kids at school giving you tips in the playground. God damn it. Sorry. For the profanity. I'm just frustrated at that, that fight today. Yeah, exactly, Doomtap. <laughs> uh, like, there is a certain class, like, I, th I, I think once we got to the SNES generation, like, like, you know, exploring games for yourself started to make sense again. Like, I'm glad that I did a fairly low bad CD uh, Super Metroid uh, run, or like, you know, play through whatever. And, like, I figured out most of what was going on in that game myself and just had, like, small back seats here and there. But I imagine doing something similar for Z1 would be terrible. Yeah, I hear that too. I did have a lot of people stop by and watch me play Super Metroid Blind, though. Um, I think that that's, like, stuff that people enjoy watching.
Yeah, I'm gonna play Z2 at some point as well. Also spoil or also backseat me on that one. All right, this is the run. I just get a uh, mushroom at this point. I dropped powder once I got below um, uh, 90 minutes um, as my PB. And I could have dropped it before then. But I would have died more. Like, I did use it up until basically I dropped it. Not very often, but sometimes. And I like finishing runs. I'm... I do not like resetting and playing escape again. Yeah, and it's at that point that you can switch to fake powder. In my opinion. Um, like, TR is kind of rough. That's, in fact, I think the reason to keep powder later, because um, there's, like, times when... Jeez. Um, like, if you get hit for, like, a million damage and chomp, there's an anti-fairy right after that, but you don't want to be at zero magic at that point. And so it's like that is the anti-fairy that I powder the most when I still had powder. But like before Trinex, for example, in the in the maze, the little peg maze, whatever it's called, um, switch maze. Uh you like, you can be pretty close to uh, no magic, and there's a full magic pot immediately afterwards. So you can fake powder really easily. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, before Moldworm is a very easy place to... Uh, fake powder, so you could you could probably switch to fake powder with with no problems once you were back in shape. slow or too fast or what in this room last time. There we go. Uh, that's that's a very understandable rule for dropping safeties. Um, I, I would probably consider myself a bit more conservative even than that. Let me see if I can think of a way to phrase how 
I would I would think of it. I don't know. I don't know how I would how I would, would praise it. I am I am probably a little bit more conservative than that when it came to dropping safeties. I held bottles for quite long as well. Well, maybe not quite long, but longer than I needed to for sure. This is a significantly better run than the <laughs> than my first one. But I think that's a that's a fair uh, fair way to do it. I think if you're okay, like, dying as well, then it's okay to never get bottles. And, like, people that come from, like, a heavy rando uh, background, I would probably say don't, don't need the bottles unless they aren't, still aren't good. I don't know. But yeah, most, most people that have just, like, played the game a lot generally wouldn't need the bottles, I don't think, but... I had, I had, I was not in those shoes. Yeah, I, I liked Saha's closet. I'm going to be doing that for a little bit longer still. Yep, same here. Uh, don't want to pick up that bush though. Yeah, tree rupees are not what's keeping me from reaching my goals right now, so not a big deal. Yeah, I hear that. It does make it more difficult to, like, you know, work into your schedule. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think it really is something you have to build. The limit of what, geez, uh, of what I can uh, generally do is is uh, two runs in one day. Beyond that, I get fried. And even that, it was like sometimes pushing it. Like that's like a weekend day where I'm doing nothing else. Maybe like mowing the lawn or whatever. I don't generally do two runs after a work day.
Interesting. Oh, starting at boots. I thought you meant up boots. Okay, gotcha. Well, that's not how it's supposed to go. Been kind of a sloppy dungeon. Yeah, it, exactly. If you're not bonking, then like you're not you're not pushing yourself, kind of. It's all about you know getting a feel for how how far you can push those dashes. Was in the other room. Just trying to dash. Lambo fight covered up a lot of sins. It's a hard fight. Yeah, 12 arrows is a lot. Okay, we got it. Uh oh. My swim was thrown off. Alright, there we go. I wasn't pressing Cardinal right. Uh, out of the jump, I was pressing like diagonal or something. I think I've only lost one as well. I'm usually pretty good at the fake flipper swim at this point. That was a that was a weird scream before the fake flipper. The crab really scared me and it threw me off my 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 groove. Jeez. This looks promising. It's 
stepped off. I, I, I canceled stair lag off the stairs so I didn't get spin speed. Thinking we'll probably hit the switch. In case anything goes wrong in the uh, bomb jump room, the the, the uh, petting zoo or whatever it's called. favorite feeling in this game is finishing a run. That was bad. That turtle on the right, like, really zoomed uh, to the left and made it to where I couldn't really throw the pot at him. I don't know what to do there. Apparently PB was also bad. I need to probably start doing that spin speed there. It's probably safer. I actually don't know. I 
think I think these are pretty long arms. I'll go with longish. Yeah, Doc, I grabbed Mushroom on the way back um, to help prevent against grabbing it twice. Because if you grab it on the way to the sword, it'll respawn. And so if I... jeez. And so if I accidentally run into it on the way up, I can... I, I can dodge it on the way back. I can't believe he made that. Fifteen blue balls, let's go. That would be like vaguely historic. Yeah, exactly, same here. I think it's only been recorded like in somebody's run like once ever. Wow. I'm so slow at this game. You're supposed to beam him and he falls off. I never have beams there, so I don't I don't I don't feel bad about not being able to do it. I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm not bad at this game. I'm like, like I'm I'm like happy with my time and everything. But it's like, I like know enough that I can look at every individual room and see all the mistakes. <laughs> spaces, I know, right? Huh. 
Oh, it was a really good light raid. Uh, 29 uh, minute ag or 29 minute even ag entry is quite good. My like goal time for uh, finishing Aga Tower is sub 29. So basically there. There's a lot of people that have sub-29. Oh, uh, Light World as a whole, I guess. So, like, including including blue balls. I guess that makes sense, yeah. close. I was gonna bonk. I'm pretty sure I was like a pixel away. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, do you mean like? The pod route, I guess, is one thing that I really like about the Link to the Past run is that I feel like there's like a really good variety of the routes through the dungeons. In that, yeah, like pod is like a like there's a bunch of multi mirroring and it's like back to the front and like just sort of like you know webbing out from like the central or from the lobby um and then some dungeons are just like very linear in that you like go through a long like you know long one directional route sort of thing there's a lot of like really good variety Thank you. 
Yes, definitely. Hey, Schmoople. Thanks for the raid. Thank you for the good luck. Welcome back, Doomtap. I'm just kidding. I know you've been here the whole time. Were you doing runs, uh, Schuylkill? Hey, it's Winmo. Thank you for the, uh, for the good luck. This was a really good helmet fight. You did one and it was almost not embarrassing. That is a good Tuesday in my book. Mostly, I had to I had to reread that because I thought it said at first you only play rando, and I was like, no, I do mostly speedruns. I do randos every once in a while, but I I am very bad at it, so I I mostly do do vanilla. I just do like randos for fun, basically. I mean, I've tried, but Doomtap is very shy when it comes to giving advice. Hey, thank you for uh, for the shout out. Whoever did that. And, and yeah, thanks again for the raid. Welcome in. Uh oh. Just gonna go all the way around. Cross keys is very hard. I've done one cross key seed. And I had someone like coaching me through it the entire time and it was still very hard. Mine took me like five? Four and a half? Something like that. Although again, I had someone coaching me like the entire time through it. Otherwise it would have taken me more than six, I'm sure. Thank you. 
Jesus. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I hate this screen. Uh-oh. Jeez. I am really sloppy today. You can tell because I'm 43 seconds ahead of PB. Easy video game. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the truth. And it's hard because it's like, once you... <laughs> like, you know, once you do something right once, or like, like you do something well once, it's easy to get into this mindset, oh, I should just be able to do that every time. And you start to take, you know, the hard things for granted. And you forget how much progress you've made. Somewhat lucky. Also somewhat unlucky, that's okay. That was a good thief sound. Drop off the smith. Drop off the sword. Okay, 
pick up the sword. Back to Dark World. dash there. It's a lot easier spaces, and it only loses like a few frames. It just like takes the thought out of the room. Like you should never fall in if you uh, grab the left pot and hold upright. Is this gold? This might be gold. This was this was pretty good. The moth fight wasn't the best moth fight, but it also was still pretty good. It's barely slower? Oh, oh, it's barely even slower. Gotcha. Oh, it's not gold. Okay. No, oh, it's not gold even close. Okay, cool. I lost time somewhere. I mean, my gold doesn't have the menu to mirror, to be honest, but... I've been using that to make a read on Moth lately, for the last hit. But still, I don't know exactly where we lost four seconds. I guess we've just had much better Moth fights. I guess I had to go the long way on the bomb jump like, uh, way back. That probably costs a little bit of time. Oh yeah, the bonk at the skull. Yeah, that's probably like two seconds. Maybe a second and a half. You're gonna make it? Yeah, you're gonna make it. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I don't get a quick roll. Yeah, I know, right, Spaces? I, like, dashed by that one fireball, like, three, uh, three times. I was trying to farm one heart. I should have Fire Rod out though. If we don't screw up, we'll get the heart back. We screwed up. That's okay. Jesus. I was not even paying attention. Oh my god. Well, this is not looking too good. Not looking good at all. Hey, Chex, thanks for the good luck. We need it. This is a garbage dungeon. Continues. 
I was worried. I was quite worried. I practiced Cold Stare before, the, before stream today. I was actually doing pretty poorly at it. There's a lot of time lost. It was not a good dungeon. I should have checked for the 50 50 bomb. far away. Oof. I thought it was. I I read it wrong. That's not it either. Thank <laughs> you. 
What in the... Can I reach it from the other side? I guess so. Oh, oh yeah, definitely, right? Okay. I should be able to get... To get, to get by. Yeah, okay. I'm so used to hitting it from the top on the way back, but of course I can do it from the, from the right, because that's how I flip it the first time. That's pretty dangerous. Decent, uh, decent dungeon. Thanks, Doom Tab. There, there were definitely some mistakes in there, but it was, it was, a, it was pretty good. Very good. Thank you. 
Oops. Hope you missed that uh, vitreous fight, Doom Top.
Good. Definitely don't go watch your back. It's really bad. I messed up the second hit and took a bunch of damage from my ball. And then had to just like rando the rest of the fight. What? Get good RNG here. We did. Oh dear. Stray input. Was a really weird aggro pattern. I felt like I even placed the blocks pretty slow, and I feel like they still aggroed after the blocks, which is really weird. Thank you. 
Still fine. Hey Nash, thank you for the good luck, dude. Much appreciated. It is definitely a run. It is definitely a good run. I was scared there at the end.
Oh. Okay. Still good. Could have been really good. That's right, that's right, Nash. <laughs> the Green Escape and the Even Greener Eastern.
I don't know what I was doing there. That wasn't right. I hit the button space, is my bad. <laughs> uh, it's too early. Nope, it's not. Did we get it? <laughs> uh, huge. These are terrible splits to run against. Why did we do this? <laughs> Why did we do this? Why did we play the game tonight? These are just strictly worse, uh, worse splits to run against. Let's see, where are we at here? Thank you, GG, Spaces, Blunt Bunny, Dr. Blue, uh, Meowski, Spaces, thank you for uh, complimenting my PP. Thank you, GG, Scruple, Doomtap, uh, Twin, Chex, thank you all. I did. No, not a normal PB anymore, unfortunately. So much free time in Dark World, right? That was definitely a run. Yeah, I guess the like the time save is ice mire. I mean, like the easiest the easiest time save is ice mire Ganon get luckier on warps. And that's about that's like about it. Like I could I could still save some time obviously on GT, but it's not easy to save time on the 750 for me still. But I should be able to easily uh, save some of that time off of Ice and Meyer and, uh, and Ganon. Like, this could have easily been a 30 second PB instead it's a 2.4 second PB. Thank you. 
Oh man. Yeah, the Light World was was pretty good except for some nonsense in Hera. The Moldworm fight wasn't especially good. And um Beatles was quite bad. Otherwise, it was pretty good. Yeah, the Light World was actually really good. Like three three splits within two seconds of my gold is pretty good. Odd was only 0.4 seconds away from gold. Skull Woods was good. It was a good run. Yeah, it's it's gonna be bedtime after this for me. Or at least time to get off. 127 soon, maybe. I don't know if it'll be soon. That would be a really good run for me right now. I haven't been that close to my sum of best in a while. I feel like I probably need to get better before I can expect a 127. I would like to get there though. I'd like to get to top 100. Faster bird things. I don't know what that is. Top 100 is around 127. Like, no, I'm never gonna do bird dashes. I, I was doing bird walks for a while, and even doing bird walks, the bird missed me once, and I was just like, I'm never doing this again. Let's see, top 100 right now would be 127.17. Kind of rough. Yeah, it is, but I would like to get there eventually. I'm not in a hurry though, but eventually I'd like to get there. When are you starting Link to the Past again, Blunt Bunny? June? Is that right? Nice. I'm looking forward to that a lot.
All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was a great run.